Cervical cancer is a life-threatening disease killing thousands of women across the nation each year. January is a time where experts emphasize awareness of prevention. News 4's Kinsley Centers explains the seriousness of this disease and how you can avoid a deadly diagnosis. Cervical cancer is caused by human papillomavirus. It's one of the few cancers that we almost 100% know what causes it. HPV is a viral infection which can cause abnormalities on the cervix. Each year there are around 14,000 new cases of cervical cancer and about 4,000 deaths across the U.S. blamed on the disease, according to the Alabama Department of Public Health. Unfortunately, Alabama has some of the higher rates of cervical cancer in the United States. But overall, even in Alabama, the rates are falling every year. Dr. Patel says the decline is credited to vaccinations. It has proven its benefit over the years. We've seen decreased cervical cancer for girls and women, and there's been no ill side effects from the vaccines. And so oftentimes a pediatrician recommends these vaccines, and we as OBGYNs 100% are behind that also. Cancer caused by HPV can take years to develop. Doctors say stopping that from happening is as simple as regular visits. Screenings typically starting at age 21. Cervical cancer is almost always preventable. So it's emphasized that women should have pap smears, have cervical screening done for that reason. Because we can diagnose the, the disease well before it becomes a symptom. The most common symptoms that do occur are bleeding after intercourse and abnormal uterine bleeding. I asked Dr. Gilchrist how common cervical cancer is here at this clinic in the Wiregrass, and he says it's sort of a twofold answer. In over 30 years of practice, and those patients who come in every year or so, I've never seen a cervical cancer in my career in those patients. The cervical cancers I have seen, it's usually every three, five, six years, are patients who typically have their kids, have a tubal, husband has a vasectomy, and then don't have follow-up for 10 or 12 years and then come in with bleeding after intimacy. And that's when we typically see it. Dr. Gilchrist says these conversations are important and it is crucial screenings are a part of a woman's health and wellness routine. I talk to your sister, your mom, your relatives or friends. You hold each other accountable. It really is a team effort to be healthy and prevent disease before it happens. In Dothan, I'm Kinsley Centers, your hometown news leader. Dr. Patel says the HPV vaccine has provided a dramatic decrease in pharynx cancer generally seen in men. You can view that information in more details on cervical cancer on our website, WTBY.com.